Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a fragrance review from one of my favorite fragrance brands. This is from Fragrance du Bois and many of you have heard me talk about this brand before. I've done a whole video on my Fragrance du Bois collection and today I have a brand new fragrance to me and that is Siberian Rose. And this is actually the perfect summer scent. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Fragrance du Bois as well as Siberian Rose, then let's go ahead and get started. So I'm so excited to share this fragrance with you today. This is one that I'm sort of surprised that I have overlooked. I'm already a fan of Fragrance Du Bois. I have their Santal Complet. I've done a review on this. I have my absolute favorite. This is Oud Jean Intense. That's what I wore on my birthday. I also have Oud Rose Intense. And then of course, I had to pick up Demi Rawlings fragrance and that is Minui et Demi which is a beautiful gourmand but the one we're talking about today is Siberian Rose and as I said I am very surprised that I have overlooked this. In general I don't feel like I always gravitate towards rose scents but when I was kind of looking through all my different perfumes Many of them are rose centric and I'm so excited because Fragrance Dubois reached out to me and they actually sent me this Siberian rose which I've completely fallen in love with. And this is something that I had overlooked and I feel like it needs a shout out because this is a signature scent worthy perfume. That's how good it is. So first I want to show you how the fragrances show up. They come in these gorgeous velvet boxes. Then you will open up and then it comes in this beautiful box here. The, the packaging itself is stunning. Packaging itself is quite weighty and stunning. I love the simplistic glass bottle and then it has little touches of detail on the cap and the cap is quite weighty. It has the Fragrance Du Bois logo and a little bit of detail work around the cap. This is a British brand that has partnered with the most thought after noses in the industry. You can find these fragrances on their website, Fragrance Du Bois. I have bought directly from their site. I had a very smooth transaction with fast shipping. You also can find these at Selfridges and then here locally in the U.S. at Lucky Scent. And when I was told that I was being sent the perfect summer scent and Siberian Rose showed up, I was so pleasantly surprised because this was not one that was on my radar. And I do really like rose scents and I tend to gravitate towards more of those kind of deep rich syrupy rose scents and this is a fresh floral slightly fruity fragrance with an amber base. So this has an interesting lineup of notes that really make it perfect for summer. So first I'm going to go ahead and put some on. I have to show you that they have excellent sprayers on their perfume which I know can be a silly thing but I really enjoy a nice evenly distributed spray on my perfumes and Fragrance Dubois has one of the best little sprayers out there. So interestingly the top notes in here include pear and I wasn't expecting that. So this one has pear juniper, pink pepper, and cinnamon in the top notes. 
and this smells so good. You guys, there really is a freshness to this fragrance. And again, I don't always gravitate towards freshy fragrances, but this one has a fresh sort of opening that really is perfect for this time of year when it is hot and you don't want something super heavy. You do want a little bit of something that's gonna be invigorating and add a little lightness this Siberian Rose definitely gives off that kind of vibe. The middle notes are Tuberose Rose, Ylang Ylang, and Leather. So even though this is a rose fragrance, it is based around a white floral accord. So this fragrance is inspired by the white Siberian Rose. And Siberia in general is going to conjure up the thoughts of white snowy winters and dramatic landscapes. But this fragrance is built around some white florals with that tuberose and ylang ylang and the white Siberian Rose. So this does have some lush florals in here, especially with the tuberose. And this is not a bubblegum kind of tuberose. And the Elaine Elaine, along with the Siberian Rose and the tuberose, make for a very sort of lush feeling of white florals. And then it is grounded with the base notes that has a touch of leather, has patchouli, amber, and moss. And that's going to add a little bit of warmth between the amber and moss. And then this is a very clean patchouli. Um, patchouli sometimes gets a bad rap. They find it to be very earthy, maybe even a little dirty. But I found that many of the patchouli fragrances I love offer more of a clean freshness to it. So patchouli can definitely add a little bit of a fresh note into your fragrance. And that's definitely what I am smelling in the Siberian Rose. So this is going to have a little bit of fruit in it with that pear note. Definitely some lush florals with that tuberose, ylang ylang, and of course, Siberian rose. But I will tell you, this is not just a total rose-centric fragrance. I think maybe that's why I had overlooked this originally, um, thinking that maybe it's a super rose-centric fragrance. Oh. You, you definitely smell that rose as it dries down. But overall, this is just a beautiful lush floral that is grounded with a little bit of warmth from that amber and that moss. So it's gonna have a little bit of earthiness in it. It's a clean patchouli and then just a hint of leather. The leather and the base here are just harmoniously blended with the lush florals along with the pear and it has a touch of pink pepper. So. So not super spicy, but adds an interesting kick to the fragrance. Now, so. the beauty of this fragrance is that to me, this is totally signature scent worthy. I can see someone just completely falling in love with this. It is going to be easy to wear. It's not just specific for summer, but it works really well in the summer months because it's got that freshness to it but as it dries down there is some sort of addictive note in here that is going to make you want to smell yourself in my eyes this is a little more feminine leaning but it's totally unisex a guy could totally rock this as well it just has that white floral accord in it that sometimes can lean a little bit more feminine is a slight fruitiness and a slight sweetness to the scent this is not overly sweet but because of that pear and that cinnamon, it has a touch of sweetness, a touch of fruitiness, but this is a more refined fruity floral fragrance. It isn't gonna lean too young. That being said, my daughter who is 18, this was one that she thought smelled really nice. I actually think this would be an easy blind buy, especially for anybody who enjoys those white florals maybe a little bit of that fruitiness, but it's hitting all the kind of markers for fragrances that are kind of crowd pleasers, meaning it's got a little bit of freshness in it, a teeny bit of sweetness, and as well as that beautiful white floral accord. And the reason I go back to this being somebody's signature scent 
is that usually those are scents that you're not going to get sick of, that you're going to want to reach for, but that can work for a myriad of occasions. Meaning you could wear this every single day. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. It's not one of those fragrances that you could only wear at night. This was one of these fragrances that I liked upon initial application. I was like, this is a really pretty fragrance and it's got a freshness to it that I just really appreciate. So you're going to get that kind of clean feeling, but there's going to be some depth to it. There's sort of some natural kind of raw sensuality in the mix of this. So it makes it interesting. And that fruitiness from the pear just really stands out to me. So although this is called Siberian Rose, I find this to be like my perfect floral. As I've mentioned several times, as I've gotten older, I can't do those super heady florals anymore like I used to wear in the 80s and such. They just are too much for me. And this one's absolutely perfect because it's got a softness to it. It isn't going to wear me, but it's got enough oomph to it that makes it addictive, if that makes sense. There's something in here that is addictive. I haven't quite picked out what the note is, but it makes it super enjoyable to wear. And as I've been wearing this throughout the week, I'm falling more and more in love with it. So it's also one of those fragrances where you are going to like like it upon first sniff but it's gonna grow on you and then it is something that I've just been reaching for more and more kind of falling in love with this one so I've been telling everybody about Siberian Rose because I think it often gets overshadowed in the lineup of fragrance Dubois fragrances they have beautiful oud fragrances Oud Jean Intense, Oud Rose Intense, they had Oud Orange, they have a beautiful lineup of Oud fragrances. But I personally feel like the Siberian Rose is a little under the radar and needs a shout out because this truly is a gorgeous fragrance and definitely signature scent worthy. Now the best part of this is that the longevity of this fragrance is huge. Is this Siberian Rose lasts all day long. This has huge longevity, especially for a fragrance that is a little bit on the fresh side. I would say this one's going to last eight to 10 hours. I swear I smelled it upon waking up the next day. So on my skin, this is a huge power player, um, but it is again, not like a projecting kind of fragrance where it's going to be in your face. This is a softer wearable fragrance with huge longevity. So I often get asked what fragrance is similar or in the same vein as other fragrances and that's always such a hard question because each and every perfume can be very unique but the one perfume that came to mind and again they're two different perfumes but the BDK Tuberose Imperial, this is a tuberose centric scent. I don't believe it contains rose in it, but the tuberose note in the BDK Tuberose Imperial is very smooth. It's not too heady. It's just a really beautiful tuberose scent. And that is what I would say about the Siberian Rose is that the tuberose note in here shines through similarly to the tuberose imperial now this one is going to have that beautiful siberian rose in it it's also going to have that elang elang so two very different perfumes this is definitely a tuberose centric perfume other than that fragrance i'm not really coming up with anything that is similar to this Siberian Rose. This is just a really surprise hit because I was expecting something very different and I have just fallen in love with this. So if any of those notes sound amazing to you, I think you're going to fall in love with Siberian Rose. Definitely a winner in my eyes. And thank you so much, Fragrance Dubois. It's a dream come true to receive such a nice gift from a brand that I already love. So Fragrance Dubois is an amazing niche fragrance brand. I will be link below my video I did of my collection of Fragrance Dubois. And I also have a bunch of Fragrance Dubois samples. So if you're interested in having me do an overview of the brand, 
and spotlight more of the fragrances, just let me know. As you know, I am just passionate about fragrance and I love talking about it and sharing my thoughts. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon.